Here's kind of like my importance of things you should learn. Like at the tippity top, I think you should pick one language and get proficient to the point of not having to Google. I think that this is a very important facet. Second, I think the next most important thing you can do is learn data structures and algorithms. I think this is really, really good for you. And then at this point, I think you kind of have like this exploration that you can kind of choose your own adventure on what you're excited about, right? So I could imagine that you want to become uh, just better with your system and better with your environment. I would suggest core utils. I would suggest Vim. I would suggest any of that kind of stuff, right? That's really good for you to learn. I cannot tell you how useful it is to know your terminal. Like the amount of time I've saved by just being able to use JQ and grep effectively is incredible, all right? I mean, we're talking like days of time uh, just in the last couple months because of just not having to like need to write a program to do something for me. It just does it for me with a couple of lines. So this is like really, really good. The next one, I could imagine deep diving in a technical topic being really, really good, right? So I, I think something like compilers can just benefit you so dang much. I can't do ERS, okay? Like, I think this is just really good. I think you'll you'll find yourself learning a lot about how a computer works, and this will translate really well into understanding your language. I think specific technologies, understanding how servers work, like write HTTP one, write web sockets, like really understand how these things work. I think it's just really good for your mind and your brain. Okay. Or number two, I think learning a language that is different from language one is just a good path. Notice I didn't say React. I didn't say Svelte. I didn't say any of these specific libraries in these specific times. System design, you learn system design by doing this. You learn system design really by doing this. This is software design. Uh, you can learn how people approach software differently by a different language. But notice that I don't say Svelte. I don't say React. I don't say any of those other things because those things come and they go. Theoretically, you could learn the idea behind modern front ends. Like of how do these, motherf these modern front ends, how do they work? Go for it. Then you can apply that to React or Svelte. This is how I think of learning.